just came back from Disney Springs. You'll see it in my uh, weekly vlog, um, how that experience went. Six hours to go into World of Disney. Ooh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. But in this vlog, as you can tell, um, is uh, my feelings going back to Disney. So Disney just recently announced that they're going to be phase opening July 11th. Disney opening their parks. I know they've already started accepting resort reservations. I don't know the details in any of that as into what parks are opening when, what the hours will look like, what resorts will actually be open, how open they will be as to restaurants, capacities, so on and so forth. But I will tell you is I can assume from seeing how Disney Springs is opening there's going to be a lot of uh, return times, a lot of, um, you know, we're only allowing a certain amount of people coming into the stores. Um, we already know from the Chinese resorts opening that um, that's pretty much how, from what I can imagine, we're going to be opening here at Disney World. Again, can't quote me on that. I literally went onto the Disney cast member website to look for any headline or information. Couldn't find any. Surprise, surprise. According to the news, we're opening July 11th and I have mixed feelings about it. My job is very much an entertainment, um, interacting with guests type of a role. And although I can't not, not do it at 100%, these new rules and regulations are going to narrow it down very 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 much those who don't know i am a children's activities cast member at wilderness lodge disney resort we typically work by the pool doing pool games all day um playing with kids and adults alike um handing out prizes and such and then we do a campfire um where we start a fire hand out marshmallows um and you can make s'mores if you want to and then we have a movie night where we set up a screen and uh people come with a blanket and watch movies um and Sometimes we have popcorn and that is pretty much the logistics of my job. Um, most of it is interacting, playing with children, getting parents to get up and play trivia and so on and so forth. Trivia is probably one of my favorite things um, besides playing in the pool water with the kids. The last two weeks, again you can go and check out those vlogs, were very interesting because they started to crack down on some of these safety rules as in you know social distancing and stuff like that. We didn't have face masks but we definitely wore gloves when we could, wiped things down in between guests um, who like had to touch stuff or put stuff on our tables like when we did tie-dye. Forgot tie-dye was also something that we did but we definitely had to limit like the amount of pool games that we played. Putting into consideration the max capacity of things since they've already started doing this in the gyms I am assuming Again, none of this is official. This is all me assuming and kind of putting two and two together to make four. I assume that they're going to crack down on the pool attendance. Now, if I remember correctly, I believe our pool is 250, so that'll bring it down to 125. We typically had about 125 the last week that we were open anyway when the parks weren't open. So like that's not too few of people, but it also depends on how many, like the types of people. Like we didn't have a whole lot of kids as well. Playing with the kids was difficult because there were a lot of games that we couldn't play. Like one game that we typically play is a hula hoop contest where everyone comes up like hula hoop. Um, and then, you know, we judge on how well they do and then they get prizes sometimes or we just move on to the next game. And that was something that we couldn't do because um, you would have to wipe down the hula hoop after every single kid and sometimes that's not easily doable. This kind of cracks down the amount of games. Again, it's not like I can't not do my job. It's just going to make it a lot harder because a lot of the more popular games, a lot of the more popular things that we do, we won't be able to do. I don't know how we're going to monitor campfire, if campfire is even going to be still a thing. I assume it would be a thing. If the restaurants can do it, wait, why can't we? It's just going to take more people monitoring how many people are around. We may have to have designated areas that they sit here and they can't sit closer than that. No difference again than the restaurants have to. Movie night. Movie night's probably going to be the easiest thing because it's just a matter of us setting the thing up and we just leave it there. That we have a very large space to do it so I can't imagine that it would be too much of an issue. I know at Disney Springs they're actually using children's activities cast members to kind of welcome and greet and kind of guest flow people in. Um, and I can imagine them doing the same thing for when the parks open, for when people come in and um, like getting them through everything. I don't know if they're going to use their own uh, crowd control because each park has their own crowd control group um, that has to do their thing for most of the day anyway. So they may just be giving them the task of it. Again, 
don't know. This is me guesstimating. This is just me taking my experience working in the parks, working in the resorts, seeing how things are functioning at Disney Springs, because I've been to Disney Springs a lot lately. Also, like I touched on, at Disney Springs, today's the day, first day that they opened World of Disney and uh, Co-op Marketplace, the only two Disney stores that are open. They're the first to open, and they both have return times, of which were over six hours. So if you checked in now, which would have been, or then, which would have been noon, you wouldn't be able to go into the store until six. I don't know what shows are gonna be operating in the parks. I don't know what parades and things are gonna be operating in the parks. Um, and just with that, that again ties into my job. Although my job is not entertainment, it is under that category of entertaining the guests. That is my whole job as a whole and some and again it takes a lot of interacting with people so I don't know what's gonna happen I don't know what my hours are gonna look like I am full-time so they are required to schedule me at least 32 hours a week when we do eventually open also want to tie on to that I'm gonna be so incredibly grateful that I don't have to deal with this whole unemployment thing and getting it to work and to flow was difficult enough. Like it was like a month long process in itself that I hope getting out of it will be the same. Who knows, we will see. I don't know how a lot of the Disney Spring cast are dealing with all of that. Me being a creature of habit, I have very much gotten used to being at home, having my own schedule of when I do chores, when I play video games, when I do workouts, and how long I take for this, that, and the other thing. And for my anxiety, it has been great. Not knowing what my hours will look like, and I know this is literally a month and a half, like almost two months away, so I, me worrying about this now is kind of silly, but I worry about a lot of stuff that's silly. It makes me realize that I need to take, you know, not take for granted this time that I have now to do what I want, go out when I want, and all this other stuff. To wear sparkly nails, because I can't wear sparkly nails, to have tinted pink hair, because I'm gonna have to dye this more red when that time comes. And I have very much appreciated this time, and I feel like it's been a nice, breath of fresh air even though like again the unemployment thing has been kind of a nightmare I'm just so ready to start our new normal whatever that means get into it and get into a new flow get into a new habit like because right now I can sit and plan my new routine all I want and most likely it's not gonna be what actually happens I just wanted to share all these thoughts and feelings also kind of tag this on there I know you have to reserve your day ticket or reserve a ticket or reserve your spot in going into the parks because that's how they do it. At least that's how they did it in the Chinese resorts. You have to pick a day that you're gonna go, you scan to make sure like you have the right to be here and then you go through the health and that gets checked and all that stuff and then you're in the park. Obviously they've done that for World of Disney where you go in, you check in that you're here and you have it, you basically saving your spot to come back later. I tried to see if there was something on the World of Disney not World of Disney, DisneyWorld.com website to see if there was anything there about us being able to reserve tickets or when we'll be able to reserve tickets. Because as a cast member, I do have free admission, but they have put a lot of restrictions down lately for different things. And so who knows if I'll even be able to go to the parks anytime this summer, which makes me really sad, especially since I work in the resorts now. Again, I just wanted to share these thoughts and feelings with you. In my opinion, whether or not we're ready to be open or not, we can't live in quarantine forever. This is my thought. The sooner that we can learn to live in germaphobe mode, which is what we jokingly called it in children's activities before lockdown happened, we called it germaphobe mode, where you wipe everything down and wash your hands a million times. The sooner that we can get used to that and taking the precautions that we need to um, until this virus fades away slowly because it's not going to go away in a couple of months. The sooner that we can get back to some sort of civilization life. You may not want to go out wearing your mask, washing your hands, being paranoid on whether or not a surface has been cleaned or not, but it's better than staying in your house all day, not being able to go anywhere or do anything because everything is closed. So again, the sooner we can get some sort of slow flow going, the better. I just miss the parks so much because it's been such a long time since we actually went and I've missed out on so much and I regret not going to the parks, even going by myself. We are reopening guests who would like to visit World of Disney to enter in a virtual queue. I just got a notification <laughs> from the, the Disney app. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, 
don't get too flustered about this. Don't be too worried about this. I know there's a lot of negative negativity going around just in general. And let's just learn to forgive, forgive, forget, love each other, be kind, be patient with one another, and just accept these new rules. And the sooner we do that, the easier life will be. Anyway, have a great day, guys.